What's up, guys? Thanks so much for clicking on the video. My name is Leah and Bay B. <laughs> Let's get into the drama of it all. When I tell you it is too much going on, it is entirely too much going on as it pertains to the Bravo universe. People getting fired, people getting divorced. Now we got babies. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. And I know my Potomac review is about to be long as hell because of this. It's so much going on. But this is going to be a video about Miami. Girl, it looked like Todd and Alexia are getting a divorce after two years. So let's get into it. Okay, y'all. So let's talk about it. So today, Jay's reality blog posted that a report from Distractify reports that Todd filed for divorce from Alexia on April the 11th, which was last Thursday via Miami Dade County court documents. So they posted the picture of them and the court documents. I'm actually going to go over to the actual website that they um, reference. So it says this. So it says, R-H-O-M star Alexia Nepal's husband Todd Faust for divorce exclusive. Todd Nepal is um, the R-H-O-M star's third husband. It looks like Bravo star Alexia Nepal's time on The Real Housewives of Miami could get a little more messy when the show returns for season seven. After a tumultuous season of defending her and her husband Todd Nepal's lavish lifestyle, it seems like she and Todd were ready to put their rumors behind them. However, Todd has uh, other plans in mind for his future that didn't involve his wife. Distractify can exclusively report that Todd has filed for divorce from Alexia after almost three years of marriage. Here's what we know about the couple's unexpected split. It says Todd Nepal filed for divorce from Alexia in April of 2024. Just one month after the RHOM season six reunion, Todd has filed for divorce uh, for, uh, from the I Por Favor pod host podcast host according to miami Dade county court records todd filed for divorce on tuesday april the 11th his attorney uh, michael j alman is um, also listed in the filing alexia is listed as the respondent of the um, case though her attorney information isn't in the court documents Todd's divorce filing doesn't give much context into why he's ending his and Alexia's marriage after only a few years. The documents only confirm that he decided to part ways. Therefore, season six of RHOM's Alexia's co-stars question her and Todd's financial situation and the state of their marriage. In one episode, Adriana, Adriana De Manuda and Julia Lamagova that Alexia and Todd's financial troubles were causing them um, to consider splitting up, which she said was tea given to her by former RHOM star um, Anna Conquesos. Alexia denied the rumor, stating that she and Todd were doing great and had to leave their rented Miami condo because the building was sold, forcing her and Todd and her son Frankie to move out of the condo. Alexia uh, continued to deny the rumors about her and Todd's finances as season six continued at the reunion. She debunked the rumors she heard about her and her husband, including that they didn't share a, um, a checkings account and paid for the apartment month to month or in cash like a drug dealer. As her boy, uh, her best friend Marisol said while sitting on the same couch, Alexia also brought her apartment lease and her payment history to further prove her point. So far, neither Neither parties have addressed their split publicly and kept their impending divorce off of social media at, um, as of least now. Todd has mostly used his social media account to give advice on real estate business practices as kept his feed as professional as possible. Alexia has um, soon to be ex-husband led the continued promotion of the podcast and other upcoming events. Another Bravo couple bites the dust. So if you want to read the article for yourself, I'll definitely have the link for it in the description bar below. Girl. So here's my thing. I did not think Alexia and Todd would be getting a divorce this soon. I definitely thought that they would make it to at least year four, maybe even five before we got the divorce like rumors or the divorce like fouling. But the fact that they didn't even make it to three years, I'm actually shocked. I really am. But 
As much as Adriana gets on my nerves, I know that lady is outside beside the pool in her beautiful backyard with an evil smile on her face drinking a mimosa <laughs> or maybe even, you know, a margarita or a, or a mojito texting everybody, I told you so. <laughs> I know she is. I, I know that lady is because she's a hater. She's a hater, but she called it. I guess that situation that she had with Todd after the Grand Horizons party was actually true when she said they bumped into each other downstairs because Todd didn't want to be upstairs with everybody. And, you know, and he told her that they were having marital issues. Then, you know, she brought Anna and Anna was saying that they were having financial problems. And then Alexia didn't make it any better when she opened up the party talking about we're not getting a divorce, you guys. I know everyone's wondering where Todd is, but we're not getting a divorce. Like everyone thought that was kind of weird. I even felt like that was weird. But girl, I guess they are getting a divorce. We But we all kind of knew something was going on, especially with the whole them moving out of that penthouse i do believe what alexia said about you know um someone purchasing their building she brought the receipts and that they were paying week like you know month to month like that was their lease you know what i'm saying like they were like they didn't um what's the what's the word they didn't have a mortgage on the on the thing but my whole thing about the situation was like it was the fact that todd wasn't helping her and that he was leaving everything to her that made me feel like yeah there was something going on because like you want to know where you're living but someone made a good point on twitter where they were like um one of my mutuals she ended up saying that she felt like todd and alexia were silently separating and that's why alexia chose that apartment we saw at the end of the season for her and frankie and i was like oh that might be true that might be true girl this is a mess but i know adriana is texting everybody like i told y'all so they just need to bring Miami back. And I hate the fact that everyone sleeps on Miami because Miami is good. The relationships are real. The beefs and the arguments are real. And this is a cast that knows how to like move forward. But still everyone stands on business in the sense of like no one is pressured to do anything. Like everybody is bullheaded and stubborn to a certain extent. And I appreciate that, but they know when to be like, okay, it's time for us to come together. But I know next season is about to be a unadulterated mess. And I love it because they, they, they deliver it ever since the reboot. They have been delivering because we have Alexia in this divorce. We know Alexia and Adriana and Larsa got beef. So it's going to be Alexia versus Adriana and Larsa because Larsa and Alexia got into it at the reunion. And then on I Por Favor, Marisol and Alexia were talking about uh, Larsa and Marcus breaking up. And, they, you know, they was not holding back. So that's going to be an issue. I saw somebody online say that supposedly or allegedly that Adriana, Julia and Maris, um, Martina not cool no more. So we're going to see Julia and Adriana beef if that's actually true. And they had the break down in their friendship you got Gertie getting over her cancer you know in remission and life after that then you got Larsa and her trying to move on with her life after she put all her eggs in her basket in that one basket which was Marcus Jordan and then we got Nicole that just had two kids well not two kids just had a baby so now she's a mother of two kids and then you know we got you know Kiki and Maris girl it's about to be messy and then Lisa and this divorce continue now we got two divorces just bring back Miami I think purveyors of pop does Miami G Get on it. Be down in Miami right now. Them cameras need to be rolling, okay? Bring back my girls, okay? But yeah, y'all, that is it. That is all. Remember to be bravely authentic and definitely hop down in the comments below and give me your thoughts about what we just spoke about, about Alexia and Todd. Did you see the writing on the wall? How do you feel like Adriana is vindicated? And are you excited for season seven of Real Housewives of Miami? And I'm out, y'all. Deuces. Deuces.